uh, honorable professors, dear organizers, uh, lady and, ladies and gentlemen, it's a privilege uh, for me. Uh, oh yeah, okay. It's a privilege for me to be part of such a great conference. And uh, unfortunately, I'm not an uh, uh, architect, I'm an urban planner. And that's why I will try to explain um, what is a um, beautiful city, myth or trust, from point of view urban planner. So, uh, the beauty of the city is complex subject, as we know and it's difficult to develop as a subject of research. Uh, the history of cities uh, shows that the subject has been investigated during centuries, and uh, it is not clearly definition what is the beauty of city is actually is. Uh, even in prestigious areas like a city downtown areas, we can observe a non-uniformity of design solutions, including architectural styles, building scale, and the pro proportion of spaces with different functions and characters. Chaotic spatial solutions and poor building technical condition make a beauty of a city no longer obvious. Despite space itself forming a potential and specific buildings, uh, demonstrating high architectural quality. So uh, here uh, I collected what our colleagues say about uh, city beauty. Uh, it is a process of sensitizing uh, to beauty should begin at the early stage of child's development, during which it should be familiarized with visual values uh, and art. We saw uh, in previous uh, uh, presentation how in Italy the beautiful surrounding forming a sense of beauty of people. Uh, next is uh, beauty, of, uh, beauty is a natural landscape, which is also an element that shapes the image of city as, and requires preservation of highest order. Uh, of course, uh, new technologies, in, including the Internet of Things, which, which is conductive to improving uh, living conditions, including environment, social and transport conditions. So, uh, we should use uh, new technologies to understand uh, and to, to make uh, projects to, to, to develop uh, our environment. And uh, it is potential offered by digital technologies, including social media uh, in a study of elements that define the image of the city. So we can find in uh, social media, analyzing big data of social media to answer the question, what is the city beauty? Uh, it can be discussable, of course, but uh, the statistics of big data of uh, uh, modern social media sometimes can give us the strict uh, answer to the question, at least where is the most beautiful parts of city. So uh, the aim of research, research was analyzing uh, aesthetic and functional features of city beauty. And also we checked the research method of urban analysis and uh, sociological study. For research, uh, we took uh, two cities of Ukraine. Uh, first is Lviv. Everybody knows Lviv, I hope. Uh, this is the most uh, touristic city of Ukraine, one of the most beautiful cities of Ukraine. And the second is uh, Krivoy Rog, Krivoy Rih city. It is in eastern south of Ukraine. It is uh, the longest city of maybe Europe because it is 120 kilometers of length and uh, very uh, damaged by industry. So, um, several research methods we used for researches. It is urban analysis analyze based on geospatial data and local vision. Uh, methods for obtaining the data from open sources. We have still have, I don't know how it is in Poland, but we had 
uh, yesterday discussion with honorable professor that it's in Poland also not easy to get uh, special data collected in one place. And uh, we used the cabinet method, of course, and uh, conducted socio sociological polls, interviews. Also, uh, urban analysis allowed uh, uh, the area to be assessed in terms of function, morphology, and composition. Uh, what uh, has been done? Uh, we used uh, space syntax analysis. Uh, it is uh, mathematical methods of uh, defining some uh, uh, space analysis, and uh, this research was, was conducted by a PhD student of uh, Krakow Polytechnica, Justyna Olesiak, and our student, student of our university. Yevgen Hardienko. Also, we made uh, functional and spatial schemes and uh, photographic uh, documentation. The research had also gained uh, teaching value. Uh, we're part of the urban schools for students uh, in cooperation with the city institutes of Lviv and Krivirich. And I want to, to say many thanks to Professor Justyna Kobelarczyk because uh, she and uh, students of Krakow Polytechnica took, took very big part uh, uh, during these researches, also prepared beautiful presentations and presented. So, um, the first uh, is uh, space syntax. Um, we see two schemes. It is uh, integration and depth analysis. Uh, integration shows uh, how <coughs> streets are included to city network and depth is checking how deep is uh, deep is this integration. Also the second method of uh, uh, space analysis is isovist analysis which shows uh, the openness of uh, space, because it's very important to pay attention which spaces we, we want to change or develop the first step by step. And uh, red color is more open spaces and blue color is less. Uh, also, uh, we analyzed the historical and cultural heritage, and here you can see uh, the most uh, popular places or most important places of Lviv city. Uh, also, we defined green areas, uh, population uh, gravity gra gradient. It's very important to un understand where is the points of attraction for uh, attractivity, sorry, for population and also we analyze public spaces. The next stage was uh, uh, polling, questionnaire. What is important? Uh, what is important? What do you like more in Majorivka district? Unfortunately, this polling was not uh, uh, representative because we didn't do it by by uh, law of sociology, but uh, we had enough good enough uh, data to analyze. And we can see that uh, for population, uh, number of greenery is the most important for Lviv. Uh, street lighting, uh, it's a question of uh, security. And uh, clean, um, sorry, uh, pharmacies, banks, etc. it's objects of infrastructure. The next is, uh, what is the symbol of Majorivka? We were, we were working on Majorivka district uh, of Lviv. And uh, we can see that it is the first, most important is uh, Medova Pechora. Uh, it's an uh, object of heritage. Uh, Vinitsa Forest Park. Vinikivsky, I'm sorry. Vinikivsky Forest Park and uh, motor track. So it is objects of uh, uh, attractivity for tourists. 
and for population is also it's very important. And next was uh, we checked if uh, how active uh, our uh, population and asked if they are ready to join improving the neighborhood. And in Lviv, 97% uh, uh, of uh, responders responded yes. They are ready to, 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 to join, to change their environment. The same uh, was done for Krivoyri city. And we did uh, space analysis for all city. And here we can see only for one uh, district of this city. It is really very huge. It is 120 kilometers. And uh, you know, some, if you will ask some, somebody, you can find person which has not, have not been in another part of this city. It is. So uh, here also we see the um, uh, space analysis, space syntax analysis, and ISOVIST. If in Lviv these open spaces were uh, linked to touristic areas in uh, Krivirich, it is uh, industrial areas. So more viewable, more, more open parts of city are galleries, industrial areas, and it looks not nice as in Lviv. So also, um, was, uh, has been done the analysis of uh, population density and population gravity. So where people spend their time mostly. Uh, next is uh, land use model using geospatial data. Krivirik uh, uh, has no clear plan uh, which area, what is in which area. So uh, we did uh, this a land use model using open data for Krivirich. Next is uh, we analyzed uh, the quality of environment for each district of this city, uh, depending different parameters. It is water space accessibility, greenery, etc., etc., and uh, the yellow is okay. Uh, red is uh, problematic areas and green is uh, perfect. So the same polling uh, has been done for Krivirich and uh, we asked what they want, that they like most in this city. And the answer is different from Lviv. Uh, most important is uh, transport for population because it's an industrial city. It's not about beauty, it's about moving. Uh, second is parks, so uh, it's good. And next is comfort. They, they like comfortable life there. Uh, I forgot to say that this uh, polling was representative. We, we did it with city authorities and it, is, it has been done uh, in a very good way. So what is uh, the next question was, what is the symbol of Krivirich for, for, for people? And they, ask, uh, they answered Kozak Rik. It is legendary founder of uh, this city. Uh, Garis and Mines. Uh, metallurgical plant. So for this city, for, uh, for inhabitants of uh, city is uh, objects like metallurgical plant. And the next question was uh, how they are, uh, if they are ready to join solving problems and only 55% of population answered yes. 35% difficult to say, and 10% answered no. I will not comment. <laughs> uh, and uh, what we are going to do in the nearest future, uh, these researches we are going to uh, make for another cities of Ukraine, such as Zhitomir, Ivano Frankivs, Stanislav. And uh, what we are uh, going to use, uh, we are going to use uh, uh, modern 
software. And uh, I will just shortly uh, uh, say some, some words about this. This is the first is QGIS. Um, next is CTGML. CTGML is standard for special three dimensional uh, special data. And the next is InfraWorks. There are a lot of uh, possibilities, a lot of software, but uh, I just mentioned the most important for us, what we can use uh, with students. Uh, cookies, uh, I think uh, all urban planners and geographists know what is this. It is uh, open source, free uh, software, uh, multi-platform. You can use it in any computer almost. And it allows uh, to view uh, rec vector and raster data, three-dimensional or two-dimensional, compose maps, and perform very powerful spatial analysis. It has uh, add-ons, plugins, and using plugins we can do very serious uh, analysis. Uh, next is CTGML. Uh, it's also a very interesting uh, standard. It defines the conceptual model and allows to exchange uh, between uh, different software. Uh, it can uh, create virtual 3D city models. You can have these models. Uh, it is uh, for New York and Berlin I, uh, that there are uh, free models you can take and use and uh, allows uh, to use it for urban and landscape planning. Uh, this data can be integrated to BIM technology, building information modeling, it's more about architecture. Uh, it can be used for disaster management, 3D cadaster, tourism, vehicle, pedestrian navigation, autonomous driving and driving assistance facility management, energy, traffic, and environmental simulations. Uh, the next is from Autodesk InfraWorks, uh, which allows to, to create 3D model of city. And of, also you can download from internet the model of 3D model of city. Uh, analyze, visualize, uh, make adjustments. So it's very good, uh, very good software to, to see the city beauty in simulation. Uh, also, it uh, integrates with geospatial data. You can use uh, any data uh, with uh, InfraWorks and make different uh, analysis. So what is the conclusion? Uh, the conducted analysis and questionnaire studies have shown that monuments Historic public spaces and greenery are the important element uh, shaping the image of historic city. Tendencies in the field of urban development show that green areas are shrinking, which results from the dy dynamically growing number of built-up areas. Uh, analysis uh, concerning the selected residential area, Majorivka, allowed for the identification of places within it, which are symbols of the district. They are important not only for the functioning of the site, but also uh, for its beauty. And in this case, the natural elements are most appreciated for the in, in, for in inhabitants, as we saw uh, in polling. The local vision of cities has shown that uh, squares are particularly important for beauty of these cities, including the market square uh, in Lviv, which is the heart of Lviv. Uh, this space, as well, as well as accompanying facilities, require urgent, urgent uh, in interventions, renovation works. As the Lviv city has a historical character, they should focus primarily on renovation activities. Uh, using of several research methods uh, allowed for a detailed assessment of the area designated for research and to answer the question what uh, elements can determine the beauty of city and high quality residential environment within it. The involvement of students in conducting the research resulted uh, in the fact that they 
gained apart from the scientific value, confirm, confirming the fact of considerations about beauty are not a myth, but a true, uh, that can be confirmed as well as uh, didactic value. And using uh, different methods proved that modern process of urban planning should be realized at, as part of an inter interdisciplinary team combining urban, architectural, and technology expertise. Uh, this is the only way to guarantee that the planned investments preceded by thought analysis will be attractive in terms of visual values, uh, functional values, and uh, will fit uh, well with the surroundings. Thank you very much for your attention. I'm sorry I took a lot of time. <laughs>